Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to give you a tour about what comes with Drupal 8 out of the box. I'm going to talk a little bit about how it's different from Drupal 7 and really just what to expect when you've downloaded and installed Drupal 8. Let's get going on that. So now that we have Drupal installed, we'll see that we have a new front end to Drupal. Now this theme that it comes with is not that dissimilar to the theme that Drupal 7 came with. And if you've never used Drupal, this is pretty much what Drupal has always looked like for the past few years when you install it, with some differences. Before, when we were logged in, we had some annoying sort of tabs to modify your content. Now, you'll notice we have these, uh, while they're a little bit faint, when you hover over your content, you'll see a little pencil next to different things that you can edit. For instance, this welcome to level up, we could actually select this to edit, or even this navigation when we hover over this. And when we hover over the header, you'll also see this. However, you'll see a dotted line letting you know it's just the navigation bar itself. And when we hover over the logo itself, this gives you a place to edit this as well. Now, this is a major improvement as to how Drupal worked before. Now, you might be wondering, well, this is great, but I don't want my users to see these things. Well, if you come to a non-logged in version, you'll see that this is what the site looks like for everybody else. They don't get the navigation up top here. They don't get all these pencil marks. They basically just see your site. So right out of the box, you could throw your logo up here and just start using Drupal as is, which is a big improvement for how Drupal used to be. So now here, you can see that we have this basic, no front page content has been created, and we have a link to the RSS feed. In addition, we have a search bar. If we were to search anything, let's just type level, you can see that it's not finding anything because literally we have no content. Really what we have is this home page. And we do have a login link that allows you to come into this login page, which has its default stylings, username and password. We can create a new account. Uh, we can reset your password. This should all seem very familiar because this is sort of what Drupal's login system has mostly looked like before. And if you've never seen Drupal, that's what the login looks like. Now, in addition, uh, a nice change here is we also have a contact link by default. If we select this contact link down here, you can see it's taking us to a really basic contact form, name, email address, subject, message. Now what's great about this is that we didn't have to do anything and Drupal has never really been known for uh, being ready to go out of the box. And maybe it's still not ready to go out of the box, but it's giving you a lot more tools that you sort of have to do in every website. That way you're not sort of repeating the same things you're doing all the time over and over again. Cool, so there's not a whole ton to see, but this is the front end of Drupal. Now that we've created our account, this is everything that you get. So in the next video, we're gonna start examining the back end of Drupal. We're gonna start showing you where the menus are, where to go to do things, how to change up content, and then we're gonna dive in more and more directly into different areas and components of Drupal itself. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, if you comment the video, hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. If you wanna purchase this series ahead of time or if you just want to stream them you can subscribe to level up pro and have early access to all videos in the beginning drupal series or you can head over to store.leveluptutorials.com and purchase the series for digital download as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye